everybody, it's that time of year again, Solar World. I come to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. This one is a game that was highly requested to me by a lot of subscribers, and it is Ratchet and Clank for the PS2 remade in HD on the PlayStation 3 as a collection. So, I'll obviously be starting a new game. Uh, for those who know me, I like or have watched my channel since the beginning, I did have this game previously done as a walkthrough, but we're in the midst of it, and I didn't actually complete it. So, I think it's that time of year where I actually complete it. The, the Kaizil Plateau, Planet Vilden, 11.13 a.m. local time. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. Approaching planet Velden, 11.47 local time. Okay, so we actually get to play now. So we are Ratchet and that robot who crashed is playing. And yes, we have little information tidbits that pop up throughout the game. I'm not going to cancel them if you guys want to read them, but I'm not going to pause every time they say something. Now actually, first of all, I want to go to the options here for a second. I didn't realize how far they were down. Subtitles I want to turn on for those who watch without sound. Uh, sound, let's turn the music volume up. I really like the music in this game. Uh, help desk, camera, camera. I actually want to check something for a second. Okay, no, yeah, I have to invert them. Yeah, reversed, reversed. Fast. That's fast, really? I don't get how that's fast, but okay. Wait, did it actually save them? Okay, it did. That's weird. It doesn't feel any different. Anyways, so just like the Spyro games, for those who have played those, your means of cash are actually bolts, which are found within these crates, which by pressing square you can smack with your wrench, the Omni Wrench. Act. I, actually, I don't know if it's the Omni Wrench yet. Uh, if you press R1, you can crouch. L1 is to look forward. Same with L2 and R2, you know, do the same as each other. Circle is to use your weapon. Uh, if you hold triangle or tap triangle, you can switch weapons. Uh, let me see here. X is to jump. X again is to double jump, even though double jumping doesn't really do much. Not yet it does. And that's about it. Um, you can also attack while, you know, crouching and stuff like that. You can also throw your wrench. Uh, by, by going like this. And I'll generally lock onto any item nearby. And then hit that first. So yeah, those are the basic controls of Ratchet and Clank. Uh, it doesn't really change too much throughout the series, but it does. Uh, Ratchet Deadlock, I think, is the first one to actually have the controls change. And then the future series, it changes, but then it sticks throughout that series because you know it's a PlayStation 3, so the stuff is gonna be a little different. Yeah, so by pressing triangle, you can interrupt them like that. It's the only one I'll interrupt because that's exactly what I was telling you about. Looks like we got a bunch of crates up here, so this is kind of like 
Um, actually, this game is what I find a combination of Ratchet, of uh, Ratchet and Clank, of Spiral and Crash Bandicoot. Why I say that is because you collect bolts as money, kind of like gems. But then at the same time, you find this stuff in crates or boxes, just like Crash Bandicoot. Nanotech restores health, only heals one module later games, your health is set up a little differently, so we'll see that when we get there. As of right now, it's no big deal because we only have what, three health? Four health, sorry. I think the max you can get is six, because there's two nanotech upgrades throughout the game. One of them is fairly easy to get by the time you get there, the second one, yeah, you're gonna have to play through the areas a couple of times. I do plan on getting 100% in this game, which means getting every skill point, every weapon, and uh, every health increase. Along with every trophy. I don't have very many trophies on this because I didn't really complete my walkthrough. And actually, I don't think I've really played this game too much on this PlayStation because I sold my PlayStation, then I got a new one. So, yeah, and wow, my Skype is so out of date. Every time I'm recording, it pops up with old messages that are like. Half an hour, an hour late. Okay, ah, they hurt each other. Yeah, enemies in this game do tend to hurt each other a lot, especially if they're not cooperative enemies that actually help with each other. And we gotta be getting close to that crash site soon. But it looks like there's like buildings and stuff here, but there's no inhabitants. Because for those who don't know it, if you guys play the future series, which is the PlayStation 3 series, not the PlayStation 2, uh, you do find out that he is the only Lombax, which is the species that Ratchet is. And, uh, but what they say, what's funny though is there is another one in an upcoming game that I will LP eventually. And what I don't get is, like, if he's the only one, then why is she there? Unless she was a creature that looked like a Lombax and really wasn't. But looks like we finally made it here to the crash site, so let's see what's going on here with this little robot. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Look, oh, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. Chairman Drek's flagship, Felden Orbit. This could be a problem. 
Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! That shadow looked familiar. So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Back on Chairman Drex's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Entering atmosphere of Planet Novalis. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Ooh, so we made it to the technically second planet in the game. But okay, yes, saving, we know, so that would make recording these videos pretty difficult. So we have the concept of water right here, which... We'll play a more important role later on. You can dive, but you do have breath. So be on the lookout for that. You don't want to die in the water. Uh, you do get the ability to breathe underwater later on, but wow, that message you actually have to interrupt. Now, to do these wrench, uh, I guess they're called bolts. Wait. Bolt cranks, there we go. You just go up to them, press square, and then walk around them clockwise. They're very easy. Uh, some of these mushrooms can actually be destroyed. Because we do want to collect as many bolts as possible. Uh, bolts as possible, yeah, bolts. Because there is something we need to buy. Actually, two things we need to buy on this planet. And one of them is very important. The other one is just helpful to have early in the game. And not have to wait for it until the next planet. Because that's usually where I pick it up. But I did figure out there is a way to get it early. And it's actually by going the way I am right now. And see what's funny is not all mushrooms can be destroyed. Like those little ones can't be destroyed, but you can apparently destroy rocks. Looks like we got some more water to go through here. I also do get the ability to swim faster. Right now you have the worst swimming skills in any Ratchet and Clank game. After this, they become extremely awesome and easy to use. If I'm not mistaken, there are boxes behind this. I knew it! I know this game very well. well this is also for Druhu82 who plans on doing this game as well. Uh, if he needs help, you can watch over this. I will be making sure I know where exactly everything is. Uh, some things you won't be able to get right off the bat in planets due to the fact that you don't have a certain item, a certain weapon, or, you know, something along those lines. Now, bolts in this game are literally worth one. Later on, they're actually worth... worth more. Jeez, I don't like that zooming camera angle. Oh, little robots. Actually, uh, when I was a ki uh, younger, back in like junior high and high school, I used to draw trading cards for video games. I used to have like Nintendo versus Sony, and I'd have like Ratchet and Clank cards, and then I'd have like Spyro cards and Mario cards. It's a fun little hobby I had. It didn't turn out to do so well, and you know, it never became big because you don't see that type of stuff out there. So I definitely didn't do any good with that. I will not do this entire planet on here, but, you know, I'll get a good portion of it done. And, oh, another mushroom. I like destroying these mushrooms. Can't destroy those. Looks like we got some more underwater stuff here. Now, this one is only, I think, recording in 
So I think this one is actually this video is recording in 720. Never mind. It's the PlayStation on this PVR doesn't record nicely. With Elgato, there's no problems. For some reason, Hapage never created the PVR to record PlayStation nicely. Now I want to check something. I never did actually look what was behind there before. Now, wow, that just brought us back to the beginning. That was actually just for bolts, which is a good idea to go there. So the next little spot I want to get done before I actually end off this video is you want to go this way. This way actually provides one of the rarest items in the game. There's only a few to collect and one of them is actually here. And actually the mandatory item that we need to buy is I think this way too. Because we're actually going through the sewer system where we also meet one of my favorite characters of all time. Okay, so we gotta break some of these, you know, I think we need 500 bolts, so remember that. Now, normally you just hop up there, but there is an ability called wall jump that you can actually jump on here. If you jump on a wall and you press X, you can jump up here. And this actually gives us the first rare item known as a gold bowl, which is actually used to purchase, you know, unlockables later on in the game. Pretty epic, eh? I think so. Now all we have to do is fall back down here and go back up. See, technically it tells you to hop up there. Now let's just, you know, hop across here, blow up some robots, and you know, do things like that. Very simple. These guys are easy to avoid. You just jump over their shots. Nothing too hard on that. Man, I'm really just talking about the game. I should really talk about something else. Well, how are you guys? How's YouTube land? Like Brendan, uh, Brendan Gaming always says. Honestly, right now I'm waiting for my application for university and I'm like so stoked to see if I get in. If I don't, I'll be really upset, but you know, I'll get over it. I've just been waiting to get into university for so long and now that I have the opportunity to, I'm worried that I won't get into it. But everyone on here that are my good friends say I'll get into it. My family says we should get into it. So I'm going to go with what they said and hopefully that's the way it turns out. So let me just break some crates here, you know, nothing too interesting, collect some of these bolts. Now we have to jump on these and then get up. Oh man, I've never jumped from a backwards, that's, that's risky. Okay, anyway. Uh, for some reason when I uh, recorded my normal walkthrough of this back when I did do it before, I didn't even finish it. I think I made it to a gas bar and that was it. But I fell off there and I was like, oh. Now! This is the last thing I want to get done in this video. Blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Uh, why not? Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadget so we got the info bonnet for Planet Iridia, which is pretty awesome, which allows us to go to a new planet. So we'll go there another time. We don't have time to go there right now. But I promise you, we will go there. That's actually one of my least favorite planets in the game. Ah, uh, you guys may know that I'm not a big fan of desert levels. There's only one desert area that I actually like. And that's actually in Super Mario 3D World. Only desert world I've actually ever liked. Uh, like even Paper Mario Sticker Star and stuff, that was just bleh. Paper Mario and 
all that stuff. Anyways, if you go here, this is a weapons vendor. And this is why I said we want to go that way. We can actually buy the first weapon of the game known as the Pyrocitor. Which is actually a flamethrower, and yes, you do have to buy ammo separately in this. And I don't think I can max it out, which, which sucks. I can't max out any of my... anything. But, here's our new gun. It looks like a retro flamethrower. And I'll show you what it does in the next video, because I don't want to waste any ammo. So, anyways, I'll see you guys next time for some more...